Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this art lesson, we're going to be exploring some resist painting um, through creating this lovely wax crayon. And yes, we are absolutely going to be using some wax crayons as our art making medium in this art lesson episode. So we're gonna to get to play with two art mediums in this art lesson. One is that we're going to explore and create our wax crayon with wax crayon, of course. So we're gonna do a little guided or directed drawing of creating the wax crayon. And also we're going to explore our paints. So you could use watercolor paint, you could use temper pancakes, or if you don't have any of those, don't worry, because you can just grab some liquid temper paint, water it down, mix it really, really well, so it's like a watery paint, and you can use that as well. Now you get to have some choice in this, right? You get to pick a background color, a choice background color to work with. And you're also gonna be picking your wax crayon color. So while we are doing this exploration, think about what color that you want to use for your wax crayon. All right, so once you got your art making medium, so you need uh, wax crayons and some paint, once you got those, grab them set up and let's make some art. So we're gonna be making a lovely wax crayon artwork using just a couple things. One, we are gonna be using some paper, right? A choice color piece of paper, and we are gonna need a white piece of paper. Lovely white piece of paper. And we're also going to need wax crayons because you gotta use some wax crayons when you are creating a wax crayon artwork. Okay, grab your black wax crayon, keep it handy, and we're gonna quickly do a lovely background. So we're gonna play and blend with three different colors on our background. So choice background, it could be any color the artist chooses, but it needs to be a something that is a little bit of a thicker paper. So maybe it is a cardstock, or it could be carver stock, or perhaps it is um, construction paper, whatever it is, you grab some paper and we're gonna pick three colors, three artist choice colors. Okay, we're gonna swirl, swirl, swirl. So we're gonna dip our brush in water, swirl, swirl, swirl in our first choice color. And then we're gonna start in one corner and go back and forth and bring that brush down and make a big swatch somewhere on their paper. Okay, we're gonna rinse, rinse, rinse in the water so our paintbrush is nice and clean. And we're gonna pick a second color and I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl in my second color. And now I'm gonna pick a different spot on my paper. I'm gonna go back and forth making big marks across my paper, making a second swatch in my background. Okay, rinse, rinse, rinse your brush. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And now I'm gonna find another color and I'm gonna get blue this time. And I'm gonna start here I go back and forth with my blue right over top of those other colors. I'm gonna go back and forth and make a big mark, big swatch with my third color. And that's gonna create some beautiful variety of colors, but also some texture where my brush leaves different marks on the paper. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna leave it beside my paper for now. And we're just gonna slide this paper to the side for now and we're gonna get that nice, lovely white. All right, we're gonna draw our crayon and painted them. Grab a black wax crayon. We of course have to draw our beautiful wax crayon with our wax crayon. So peel off some extra paper. Okay, and once you're ready, here we go. We're gonna go towards the top of the paper and we're gonna leave a finger. So we're gonna put our finger down and where our finger's gonna be at the top, where our finger stops, we're gonna put a nice little dot. So that way we have it not too big, not too small. Now where that dot is, we're gonna draw a straight line across, just like that, nice straight line. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times, make it a thicker line, okay, nice straight line. And then we're gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna place my finger so where my knuckle is, I'm gonna have my knuckle there. And then where my finger stops, I'm gonna put another dot. I'm gonna do the same thing, nice and big, back and forth. And that way 
my crayon's not gonna be too small and my crayon's not gonna be too big. It's gonna be just right on my paper. Okay, next we're gonna bring our lines down. It's gonna look like this. Don't we'll just watch first and then you do. So I'm gonna bring my two lines down to make my crayon body. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm going to go very slow. I'm gonna look with my eyes, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look down to where that dot that point is, okay? I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna go really slowly. I'm gonna pull my hand down. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna look at that line where it ends and I'm gonna draw it towards it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna place my hand up here, but I'm looking down here. So my hand is gonna come down to where my eye is looking. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Till I get to the bottom, okay? Now if you want to go over it a second time, you can, or you can just leave it like that. It's up to you. All right, we're going to draw the wax crayon top. So we're gonna do a finger space in and place a dot from that edge. I'm gonna place my finger and line up on the other side and place a dot. And then I'm gonna go up on either side, in on either side, up and in. And up on a diagonal and across for my crayon top. Next, we're gonna draw two stripes on our crayons. I'm gonna draw one line there and one line at the bottom. Okay? So we're gonna go right across, right across. Okay? Go over it a second time and make it thick. Just like that. Okay, next we're gonna give our crayon some arms and legs. So we're gonna do some crayon arms. So two letter V's on either side. And then you can draw little fingers on the end of your crayon. Then on the bottom, we're gonna do two little legs and draw two little feet. Okay, next we're gonna draw an oval in the center, an oval in the center. And we're gonna draw our eyes. So first, we're gonna draw one circle on one side one circle on the other. In each circle, we're gonna draw one big circle. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles white. And anytime you need me to pause, just hit the space bar or the pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. Next, between the eyes, we're gonna draw a straight line. Okay, so draw a straight line between the eyes. That's gonna be the top of the mouth. And then we're gonna go from one side, draw a U over to the other side, and that'll be the bottom of the mouth. So you can draw an A letter U to connect the mouth. Just like that. And then from one corner down to the bottom, we're gonna draw the tongue. So we're gonna draw a nice curving line from one down, corner down to the bottom to make a tongue. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just that tongue nice and white. All right, so you can go ahead and grab some choice colors. I'm gonna color in my tongue pink, and I'm gonna color in the wax crayon part. Mine's gonna be a blue wax crayon, so I'm gonna color in the crayon part that you color with. I'm gonna color it with wax crayon so it's the right medium, and it's wax. And then I'm ready to paint. So now I'm gonna paint the rest blue except for the whites of the eyes. So I'm gonna dip my brush in the paint. I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl on my blue paint. I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna work my way down, painting my crayon blue. Carefully, carefully painting around my eyes. I don't want my eyes to get any paint on them. Now, if you do, you can just take a finger and push it off. No big deal. 
No big deals. Okay. Perfect. And once you're done, you're gonna take your blue and then we're gonna draw a nice big oval around or whatever color crayon you're using. Take your paint, your crayon color. We're gonna paint a nice oval around our crayon. Nice big thick oval, nice big line. You can paint over the over the crayon marks because the crayon's gonna resist it. We're just gonna make a nice big circle there, just like that. Okay, and once you're done, you're gonna let both your background and your wax crayon dry. Okay, and once it's dry, you can go ahead and we're gonna cut out the crayon and we're gonna follow that oval that we painted. Cut it out. glue stick and we're gonna glue the border first so around the border then the inside border then the inside border then the inside and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna place our crayon on our background paper take two flat hands to press and hold lift two flat hands to Press and hold, and lift. And once you're done, your lovely wax crayon artwork is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons place to start is the Ms. Artastic blog. Here it's kind of like a hub for all things Ms. Artastic. You're going to find links to the podcast where you can find my show notes and listen, um, or you can find the podcast on your favorite podcast player. Just search Ms. Artastic. You're going to find teaching strategies and resources, free printables, art lessons for kids from the elements of art, principle, principles of design, seasonal art lesson ideas, and holiday art lesson ideas, some of the more popular holidays. But you can find so much more, so it gives you a great place to start. You can find some free lessons by clicking the number one button, and then you can learn a bit about me and find all my blog posts that cover things from back to school, advice for new art teachers, um, talking about the principles of design and how to teach them, tips for teaching visual art to kids, and so much more. Lots of freebies to discover, and this is the Ms. Artastic blog, so make sure you go to MsArtastic.com as this is your first place to start on your Ms. Artastic journey. The next place to go to is the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. You can search Ms. Artastic in the search bar up at the top, and then you can find my store and my lovely gold cat logo here. And this is a great place to start to find amazing art resources. As you can see, there is over 800 different resources to discover. Um, and over here, we have our custom categories. So if you don't want to use the search bar, which you could totally search my store over here. But if you don't want to, or if it's a little bit too complicated, you can always find different custom categories to get some inspiration for things you might want to find, like art sub resources, my artivity books that I've created, artists and art history, back to school, elements of art, directed drawing, principles of design, our world, primary art lessons, my roll and draw series, oh yeah, social emotional learning, and of course all of the holidays are in here from Halloween to Earth Day, end of year Easter, St. Patrick's Day spring, and so much more. Um, some of the cool things you might find are elements of art workbooks, I got principles of design workbooks, and so much 
art history, guys. I have gone to town this year and created a lot of art history. So you'll find art history workbooks. Um, there's a couple, there's a few different ones. This one is um, modern art history. You'll find Gustav Klimt, um, Georges Seurat. We'll have Alma Woodsy Thomas, Emily Carr, and so much more. In the first one, there is artists such as Frida Kahlo, Georgia O'Keeffe, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Salvador Dali. Um, and then I also have Western art history from 1900s to 1990s. So this is a modern art history workbook that goes through all the different modern art history movements from data to surrealism to abstract expressionism to early 20th century art. And I also have a art history, history of Western art, um, prehistoric to 1990s. So from ancient Greece to... Um, to Egyptian art, uh, romanticism, all of that you will find in prehistoric to 1990s, um, but all designed for kids. So you can check it out. I have different levels, primary um, levels, through to middle school of all my different resources. You'll find them at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. Again, go to Ms. Artastic on TPT. And finally, if you are somebody who wants to dive deep into art and you need a bigger solution. So maybe not just a single solution where you have just a couple of resources, but maybe you need something bigger, a full program that's going to guide you through planning an entire year, provide all the resources for doing that, all the year long plans, all the lesson plan templates, but then also teach you how to plan the year from your back to school to your first week, um, through classroom management and assessment, um, all the way through planning your entire year till the end of the year, setting yourself up with a year A and a year B so you have a rotating curriculum, so you're planning, you're spending less time planning and more time on things you love, like your passions, your family, your fur babies, whatever it might be, um, then you need to check out the Artastic Collective art curriculum. It is my art curriculum designed for art educators. So not only am I going to give you my three-phase proven process for planning an entire year in my art teacher growth course. I'm also going to give you all the resources for the planning part, but also all the lessons as well, whether it's community builders, first week activities, when you're done, um, everything will be included. And as bonuses, you're going to get monthly art teacher challenges and you're going to get a community form that's for all the members of the Artastic Collective to talk on and collaborate together with. And then also I'll be there and you'll get a direct line to me. I will help you anytime you need my support. So this is ArtasticCollective.com and here you're going to find, again, my art curriculum and other programs for our educators. You can learn about me here. But my friend, this is where you're going to transform. And you can learn more by going to uh, the art curriculum area and there I will walk you through. Enrollment opens every August and January of every year. It is the ultimate art curriculum for our educators. And I want to help you through that process of planning. I'm going to make sure that I provide you with all the resources that you need to become the best educator that you can be. And if it's not August or January, then unfortunately you can't join, but you can always get on the wait list and that way you can get the art curriculum that you need to be confident and fully planned without the stress. It is designed for educators and it's going to again help you go from stressed and overwhelmed to calm, happy, and fully planned. So make sure you go to artasticcollective.com right now. Get on the wait list if you are needing a full art curriculum to solve your planning needs. And I will see you next time.